Under the influence of the war between Russia and Ukraine, Western countries have imposed unprecedented sanctions and blockades on Russia. Against this background, Russia is eager to find a new economic and trade outlet. Iran, as a country that also faces U.S. sanctions, has experienced more than 40 years of economic blockade and political isolation. Iran has made great efforts to get rid of Western sanctions. In 2023, Iran reached reconciliation with Saudi Arabia under China's persuasion, and also reached a series of oil deals with China. Now, the two oil countries, Russia and Iran, are beginning to join forces to get rid of Western sanctions. In May 2023, Iran and Russia signed an agreement on the International North-South Transport Corridor. This corridor is 7,200 kilometers long and involves more than 18 countries. In the future, this channel will even replace the Suez Canal and become the most important trade channel connecting Asia and the Middle East. So, can this 7,200 kilometer corridor replace the Suez Canal? What strategic significance does it have for the two oil giants, Iran and Russia? If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. The abbreviation of the International North-South Transport Corridor is INSTC. Unlike traditional maritime routes, INSTC also integrates road and rail transportation to form a diversified transportation network. This corridor is mainly divided into three lines, of which the western line connects India, Iran, Azerbaijan, Russia, and Northern Europe, forming an important transportation channel across the Eurasian continent. The middle line adopts a land-sea combined transport model, which starts from the ports on the Caspian Sea coast in northern Iran, then passes through ports in Kazakhstan or Russia, and finally relies on railways and roads to complete the transportation of goods. The eastern route connects India, Iran, Central Asian countries, and Russia, building a transportation line covering a wide area. In fact, INSTC was proposed 22 years ago. At that time, Russia, India, and Iran jointly planned this project to strengthen their cooperation in logistics and transportation. But in the early days, this plan remained more in the theoretical and planning stage. Because countries have more convenient and economical transportation options, INSTC has not been taken seriously by relevant countries. In 2018, the corridor transported only 11 million tons of cargo, and its potential has not been fully utilized. It was not until May 2023 that Russia and Iran reached a railway investment agreement which brought the INSTC plan to the world's attention again. In promoting the INSTC project, the Rashtastra railway line in Iran is the most critical. According to the original plan, this 165-kilometer railway line will run through the Iranian city of Rasht and the Astra port, and will eventually be connected to Azerbaijan's railway network. In a strategic sense, it would also closely link Iran's southern seaports with Russia's Baltic and Black Sea ports. Among the entire western route of the North-South Transport Corridor, the Rashtastra Railway is also the last section of railway connecting Iran. It is worth mentioning that in the early days of the line's establishment, India promised to provide financial support for the construction of Rashtastra, but later, Due to the continued sanctions imposed by the United States on Iran, India and its funding agencies began to become hesitant due to concerns about being subject to secondary sanctions by the United States. Coupled with the fact that the Indian people know very little about it, international financial institutions such as the World Bank do not support this project. Therefore, in the past few years, there has been no progress in planning the Rashtastra Railway. Until May 2023, Russia hopes to accelerate the construction of Rashtastra and then open up the western channel of the North-South Transport Corridor. In order to achieve this goal faster, 
Russia decided to invest 1.3 billion euros to fund Iran's construction of the railway in the form of intergovernmental loans. At the same time, Iran has also made a commitment to complete the construction and put the railway into use by 2027. So, what strategic significance does INSTC have to Russia and Iran? Since the Crimean crisis in 2014, sanctions and suppression by Western countries on Russia have gradually become a daily phenomenon. In the past decade, Russia has faced more than 10,000 sanctions. With the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict in 2022, the situation will become even more severe. The United States began to join hands with Europe, Japan, South Korea, and other countries to impose unprecedented comprehensive sanctions on Russia. In just three months, Russia has been suppressed by sanctions in everything from finance to technology, from social media to online information, from trade to resources, and even Russian culture and sports. This also makes Russia the country most severely sanctioned in the world. For Russia, previously wanting to transport goods from St. Petersburg to India basically required sea transportation. The general route is to set sail from the Baltic Sea, go around Western Europe, cross the Strait of Gibraltar and enter the Mediterranean, then cross the Suez Canal and the Red Sea, and finally pass through the Arabian Sea to reach India. This route is both time-consuming and inefficient. But now, with the opening of the 7,200-kilometer-long INSTC, Russia's transportation of goods to India can directly pass through Central Asia, the Caspian Sea and Iran, and finally reach the Arabian Sea. Compared with traditional transportation routes, INSTC can help Russia reduce costs nearly 40% of the way. As a result, the transportation time that originally took 40 to 60 days has been shortened to 25 to 30 days, and the transportation cost in Russia has also dropped by 30%. What is even more worth mentioning is that under the current tense political situation between Russia and the West, this new passage through Iran, Russia and India cleverly avoids the Suez Dilemma and no longer has to worry about NATO military interference when crossing the Mediterranean. And compared with the old route through the Suez Canal, this new corridor can save up to $2,500 per 15 tons of cargo transported. Therefore, for many countries, this new transport corridor is also a better alternative to the Suez Canal. In addition to Russia, Iran also hopes to use the INSTC to get rid of Western sanctions. In the past 40 years of confrontation, the United States has acted as the world police and imposed a series of severe sanctions on Iran, especially targeting Iran's oil industry. Oil is the lifeblood of Iran's economy, and they are absolutely unwilling to allow the United States to interfere, which makes it even more difficult to ease tensions between the two countries. Even though the United States has repeatedly tried to ease relations between the two sides, Iran's position still favors Russia and China. Faced with Iran's persistent resistance, the United States finally withdrew from the Iran nuclear agreement and imposed unprecedented sanctions on the country. So far, the United States has imposed sanctions on Iran for 40 years. But if INSTC is completed and put into use, Iran is likely to become one of the most important cargo transit centers in Eurasia. This will allow cargoes from Russia and Central Asia to flood into Iran's Persian Gulf ports and increase the cargo throughput of these ports, thereby stimulating Iran's maritime trade and economic growth. And through INSTC, the volume of cargo transportation between Russia and Iran is expected to increase significantly. It is expected that by 2030, INSTC's cargo transportation volume through this route will reach 40 million tons per year, accounting for 70% of the total container transportation between Eurasia, South Asia, and the Gulf region. More importantly, oil, natural gas, and mineral resources are the mainstay of Iran's economy. It has more than 160 billion barrels of oil reserves and 34 trillion cubic meters of natural gas reserves ranking fourth and second in the world. Iran currently has more than 60 proven types of mineral products, with total reserves ranging from 58 billion to 37 billion tons, 
of which the recoverable reserves are about 38 billion tons. If Iran can sell these resources to Asian countries, such as India and China, which are major energy consumers, through INSTC, this will not only save Iran's transportation costs and time, but also get rid of U.S. military intervention to a certain extent. As far as I know, Iran is currently studying two transportation options. One is to build a railway from the Caspian Sea to a southeastern port. Another plan is to dig a canal that runs through Iran from north to south and directly connects the Caspian Sea to the Persian Gulf. If there is a country that can provide help to ambitious Iran in terms of infrastructure, I think it should be China. So, will China be willing to join the corridor plan? To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.